Hi, welcome to Play Food with Mami. And then I am Mami. And this week I'm playing Garibaldi's Opus 131 Etude number 9, B flat. And this is the, my uh, this is my third third video about this number three number nine. It's almost uh, come to the pure muscle. So I'm playing from 29. Oh, I didn't mention this. Um, in the beginning, this is the beginning, first line, um, bar seven, and then this is like a coming back it's like a repeating as if like a, you know remember i remember what's happening in the beginning and then here so this is different so you wanted to emphasize this different first um beginning was and here is so you want to make sure that you will play this triplet very, very clearly and uh, deep sound, um, shiny sound. So it's almost like a, almost like adding tenuto on each note. That that will work. If you don't slow down, you can add like a tenuto, uh, tenuto-like sound if you don't slow down. Yeah, don't slow down because you don't want to slow down there. this kind of tempo at least I'm playing this kind of tempo and then Pio from his HQ 40 Pio so Pio how how much fast do you want to play Pio Mosso you know very quick Pio Mosso very quick something like that very fast I would say so change will happen on this double bar on um, bar 40 so different way I think simple way is uh, note that there is a breast mark one note after the bar 40 and you can take the breath so um, simple way is change the tempo right right away from bar 40 and why I say simple because because I I mentioned that there is a breast mark. So even though it is suddenly tempo changes, but you still <laughs> can to can take a breath, which means it wouldn't sound too um, rushed because you would take a breath. There's a little bit moment because you will take a breath. Yeah, this is something you can do because this is the solo music. You are not playing with any, anybody else. You are playing by yourself. So you can stretch time. You can stretch the um, length of bar 
basically if it's solo you can you can start whatever you want to do you can do anyway because you don't have other person to uh, you you to uh, play with that you can you know individually compromise your situation if you are playing a different uh, rhythm or something uh, but since this is uh, solo music so you can do anything so uh, simple way I would say simple way would be from this uh, double bar you can change the uh, tempo right away um, I say that this is a simple way because uh, you can keep the tempo I mean uh, tempo before up to the end of the the phrasing coming from the beginning, uh, coming from the um, before. So, you can do uh, più mosso from second note of the bar 40. You can. But uh, since più mosso is written on the uh, bar on on the bar and since you have a uh, opportunity to uh, take a breath very quick so i would say i would you know it's better it's it's good way to change the tempo on the uh, double bar and then you can slightly do the little dando just before the double bar um, Maybe you can keep a little bit D note slightly longer. But um, what you want to do is you want to surprise audience, listener, because listener is not listener is not looking at the music maybe but usually they don't look at the music when they are listening to you so they don't know what's happening next you want to surprise them because if you are playing like okay it's going to become fast it's going to become fast and then okay it's becoming fast then it's not really fun but if you're playing like okay i'm gonna play this tempo this tempo surprise first and that, I think that's the something you want to do. So if you slow down too much, it will make audience to think that, okay, something will happen. And so that's why don't slow down too much. Anyway. Um, Um, practice slowly and and then knowing that you are moving your finger slightly before you um, pronounce the note uh, like G F G F you play staccato you will move your finger for the next note so you because this uh, um, this part is very fast so you want to um, move your finger fast but you wanted to move your finger before playing the note which means you want to play staccato very short so that there's a space that you can move your finger before you pronounce the next note. Make sense, right? And then there's a um, trill. Again, the, mm, you can think many different different way. 
I tend to play uh, I will still try to keep the um, F note I mean the second F note longer you mm, some people can think you can divide into the three divide into the three like, as if triplet but I like to play but um, I want to keep that F note a little bit longer so that I can add vibrato because I want to add vibrato um, but it's very tricky because it's fast movement and fast F um, This first F is supposed to be on the beat. So there's a very, very short no, short time that you will need to fill this F, G, F. And if I, like I wanna do uh, second F to be a little bit longer, then you, you wanna have a good moment, good uh, timing to have a first F on the beat and then second F a little bit longer and vibrato and still go to the next E flat on time. So this is something you can practice from the slowly. I'm pushing, I'm making with my foot so, so that I can move my body and my breast at the same time like a, I know what I'm doing, like a, I am a conductor for myself. Because first F need to be on the beat. continue with next video because there's more thing that I want to talk about so this trill is tricky practice it easy ways it's for study why not doing a little bit heavier way so okay thank you for watching and then i will see you next one next one should be the last one okay